Hi everyone, today I will make mushroom hot pot or lẩu nấm. It's a super healthy, nutritious and delicious recipe that you definitely have to give it a try. Last week, I had a chance to attend a countryside wedding in Vietnam. The wedding banquet was held at home for around 500 people. I was really impressed as to how they can cook for so many people at one time. That was also the first time that I attend a wedding that serves lẩu nấm. The hot pot was placed at the center of the table, and the guests will help themselves by adding the mushrooms into the boiling hot pot. It was quite a fun and unique experience, especially with the live music performed by the guests on the stage. Now I'm back and going to a local market to shop for the ingredients to make the mushroom hot pot today. I've missed these tropical fruits a lot when I was in Germany. Now let's buy some for desserts. Oh, this is my all-time favorite. Okay, so we need to buy daikon radish for the soup broth and a good variety of mushrooms. Luckily, this lady has all kinds of mushrooms that I need, so I'm just gonna buy everything here. Mushroom hot pot could be really expensive when you eat as a restaurant, but it's surprisingly easy to cook. So by cooking at home, we can save a lot and can eat more. So let's begin. Helen's recipes. Firstly, you want to peel the daikon radish and cut into thick rounds like this. It will add a natural sweetness to the broth base. For the broth, you also need 500 grams of chicken chopped into bite-sized pieces. I use chicken with bones for more flavor. For vegetarian version, you can skip the chicken and use seaweed or kelp instead. In a large pot, combine 2 liters of water, the chicken, daikon, and a teaspoon of salt. Bring to a boil, then lower the heat and cook for about 30 minutes, occasionally skimming up the foam. For the mushrooms, you can use any kind of mushrooms that you like. Here I have snow fungus mushroom or nam bạch tuyết. This is chicken drumstick or king oyster mushroom nam đùi gà. Doesn't it look like a chicken drumstick? <laughs> I also have here white and brown symmetry mushrooms nam lên chi trắng and nam lên chi nâu. Fresh shiitake mushrooms nam đồng cô. This is enoki or golden mushrooms nam kim châm. To prepare the mushrooms, remove the end roots and separate them. These mushrooms are really good for your health. They are a great source of protein, high in vitamin, low cholesterol, and helps prevent cancer. For larger mushrooms, just cut in half or thin slices like this. After about half an hour cooking, the chicken is tender. Now you can transfer it to a hot pot and season the broth with uh, some chicken stock a tiny bit of sugar and some salt to taste. That's it, we are done. So simple, right? Now prepare some egg noodles or rice vermicelli noodles. Boom! Arrange the prepared mushrooms nicely on a plate together with some spring onion cut into 3 inch length. If you want, you can also add more seafood like shrimps and squeeze and tofu, etc. or any kind of vegetables of your choice. For dipping, just plain fish sauce and chili. To serve, bring the hot pot to a boil and then add the mushrooms and spring onions. Cook them for about 2 to 3 minutes and it's ready to eat. The broth is mild in flavor, but when you have a sip, you can enjoy all the goodness from the daikon, the chicken and the mushrooms. Add a little bit of noodles into your bowl Get some of your favorite mushrooms and dip into the dipping fish sauce. For vegetarians, you can use soy sauce instead of fish sauce. Mmm, the mushrooms are so fresh and delicious. You can also ladle the soup and the chicken into your bowl and serve it like a noodle soup. Seriously, when I eat this hot pot, I just feel like I'm doing really good for my body. At a separate dipping sauce for the chicken, I prepare this uh, salt pepper lime sauce. It's really good. If you decide to give this recipe a try, don't forget to take a photos and post on Instagram, Facebook, and Google Plus with hashtag Highland Recipes. I look forward to seeing your photos every week. Meanwhile, don't forget to like this video, 
share it with your friends and add to your favorites. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.